right, so what's inside the pump? We have three plungers, right? And there's basically a cam inside that as the engine rotates around, one of those particular plungers is going to be compressed producing pressure. Let's take a look here. This light blue color, you can see that's the inlet side. And that's where inside of this particular cavity here, we're going to allow low pressure fuel to come in on both sides. On this side is where we're producing pressure. There's three check valves built into the system. And when one of these chambers is pressurized, basically these two other check valves are seated, which ensures that that high pressure fuel is not allowed to get back into the other side of the pump. So that low pressure fuel came in into this chamber, and as it came up, it pressurized. This little device right here is a signification of that shutdown solenoid, which we'll look at here in just a second. So here's that shutdown solenoid, and what is it designed to do? Well, basically, like we said from the beginning, this pump is giving you all it's got at all times. So you have a significant volume of fuel coming out of that pump, and it's controlled by that pressure regulating valve or the DRV. Well, at high volume, high pressures, we're going to build up excessive temperature. So what we need to do is cool that down from time to time. Let's take a closer look here. Shutdown solenoid is going to be controlled with the temperature when it reaches about 278 degrees Fahrenheit and when the engine speed is above 2,000 RPM. How does this work here? Well, we already know we got fuel coming in and we come into the chamber itself. Now, when that, that solenoid is de-energized, you can see that there's basically a plunger right here. And when it's energized, it'll push down to seal off that particular cavity. So in normal mode, it's going to go right around and then exit out that check valve. And then that pressure you see coming down here will head out to the appropriate to the fuel rail and uh, monitor that for the fuel injectors. On this side, when the plunger is or energized, it's going to close this plunger right here. And that fuel that's left in here gets recirculated back to the return side. So it just bleeds off back around the other side here. So when this pump is working, we only have two plungers supplying fuel. To me, very ingenious way of taking care of, you know, potentially a complex problem that occurred. You know, early on in diesel, the pressures were pretty low. But in order to achieve the performance and the results, make the engines quieter, better diesel exhaust emissions, we certainly need to have that capability. All right, so now we'll talk about this DRV right here. This is a pressure regulating valve, and its whole job is to maintain a balance of pressure in the rail. Match that pressure that we need. And many times when you're working with a scan tool, you're going to see desired fuel and actual fuel, right? What does the engine control module want at this point in time? And then that DRV's job, its responsibility, is to help adjust that pressure and allow excess to go back to the return side. Let's take a closer look at that DRV.